John Kavakis here with another edition of my take and today I want to talk to you about Stamps 1949 Cadillac Fleetwood 60 Special. Now the 60 Special was a new nameplate for Cadillac in 1938 but it graced the largest most luxurious Cadillac that they had available back then and ever since then it's been the designation for their biggest most luxurious cars uh, and other than some of the handmade special production stuff they did in the 50s and 60s uh, it's pretty much been the top of the line for Cadillac. So 1938 model less until 1941 New model in 1942, but then we had the break for the war. Uh, the 46 and 47 models were very similar to the 42 model. But in 1948, the war was over. American production was all back up to speed and everything. People were looking for the newest and the best. And th there were all new designs from nearly all of the manufacturers in 1948. And the 1948 Cadillac was absolutely stunning. It was a Bill Mitchell design. And it had flowing fenders great lines, very modern looking for 1948, uh, but it had these two little fins in the back. Now, they were made to emulate the P-38 Lightning, which was one of the most feared fighters in World War II. And what Mitchell was saying with those two little fins was power, uh, dominance, uh, sophistication, uh, it was something to be respected, something to be looked at with awe. And he made this statement, and that those two little fins set the automobile design world on fire. Those two little bumps became a lasting design element of Cadillac design. And we know where it hit its, its epitome in 1959. And love them or hate them, those 59 fins made a bold statement about American car design. But you know something, if you take a close look at Cadillacs, even today, uh, there are still vestiges of those fins that appeared first in 1948. They've become a Cadillac hallmark. So, Stamp has given us a model of the 1949 Fleetwood 60 Special. 1949 brought a new more powerful V8, a little bit different interior, more luxury, a little bit more trim. Beautiful car and, and Stamps given us this model in three colors. It's in black, it's in a color called Mayura Maroon and it's also in cypress green and the maroon and the green are metallic colors. Now I've got the cypress green here and we're going to get it out of the box and take a look at it. Uh, one of the things I appreciate about Stamp is uh, their packaging is first rate. You know, the, this is not a flimsy plexiglass cover. It is formidable. It fits firmly to the base. Uh, once again, the base here has a little bit of a, uh, uh, a uh, suede feel to it. It just speaks of quality. And so as we get around the turntable and start taking a close look at it, first thing I want to mention is I want to, I want to get this taken care of. You know, uh, we've heard some criticism on Stamp that some of the trim on some of their models is painted silver. Um, it's not all bright plated. And we have that case on this model, uh, the rocker panel moldings and the, the side trim on the leading edge of the front fenders seems to be painted silver, but it also might be a finished type of silver. Now, um, I don't know what to make of this. Uh, I, I mean, everything Stamp does seems to be high quality. I've got a lot of respect for their work. Uh, and I'm gonna give them a little bit of wiggle room here. I've taken a close look at some of the pictures of the full-size Cadillacs and you know there's some automobile trim that is uh, bright aluminum is not really chrome they may be thinking that here um, if they are I, I, I think they probably need to think about it again uh, it, it, it's something that you've got to look really closely at the model to tell though I had to get the flashlight out and take a look at the sides of this to make sure that I was being making an accurate statement so I for me it doesn't detract from the model. For some people it might bother them. Um, I, I'm willing to look over it because the rest of the model is absolutely stunning. This has got an emerald green finish, uh, very fine metallic fleck, true to 143rd scale. The rest of the trim on the car is just amazing. Uh, the lensing in the front, the grill, uh, very accurately replicated. The badging on the car is accurate. It's got all the colors that are supposed to be there and everything. The window surrounds are beautifully done. In particular, that 
split front windshield. 1949 was the last year for that. Uh, it looks fantastic. The window surrounds on the sides. They're photo etched, a little flat, uh, but again, they're true to size and it doesn't detract from the car. Got the separate door handles. It's got the hash marks. Uh, on the C pillar, and it even has those little marks that are really hard to see, but you gotta look close right below the tail lights on the fins on the back. Uh, the back is a work of art, the backup lights are there. Uh, the tail lights are lensed very nicely. Uh, the badging on the back for Fleetwood and uh, the trunk lid handle, it, everything is just beautiful. And I gotta tell you something, I looked at the wheels at first, I thought, I don't know about those wheels, but then I went and took a look at the full-size wheels, and these wheels are accurately replicated. They've done a great job on it, the tires look great, they're right to size, the white walls are the right size as well. Uh, the interior uh, is typical, high quality, high detail, stamp interior. Uh, I wish they would have left the side windows down so we could see it better, uh, but as I flash a light into there, the dash is well replicated, the steering wheel is beautifully done, uh, the door panels are well replicated, and even the seats seem to have some texture to them. It's a beautiful model, and $129, I think it's a great buy, and what I'm finding out is if you do a little bit of judicious shopping, you know, sometimes on eBay, you'll find them at $119, maybe $109, you've got to watch out on freight on some of those, but Stamp's given us another beautiful model. I put the calipers to it. It is exactly 143 uh, in length and width. Uh, they do a beautiful job of scaling it down. It, to me, that makes it a miniature a bit more than a model. Uh, and I really like the model. I like the model. I like the packaging. And I'll tell you something else I like about Stat. Uh, they are a friend of the hobby. They have supported us in Chicago for several shows. Uh, they send prototypes for us to take a look at it. Uh, they are responsive as, as far as customer service is concerned. They've got a great dealer network over here. Uh, we have several dealers that are doing with them. We know a lot of the guys that are selling them. Uh, and I like that fact that they're plugged into the hobby. They're not just pumping cars over here. They're supporting us. They're giving us previews. Uh, they're giving us deals. And they're giving us an opportunity to buy a high-quality model at a competitive price. So that's the Stamps 1949 Cadillac Fleetwood 60 Special Sedan in Cypress Green. This is my take. Thanks for tuning in. If you have a minute, I'd like you to, uh, if you like the video, to give me a thumbs up. I'd love to hear your comments. We'll be getting more and more, and I'm loving the interchange that we're getting with the folks that are watching the channel. And of course, I'd love to have you as a subscriber. I've got a lot of models here. There's a lot coming down the pipe. Keep your eyes open. Thanks for tuning in.